Hey Joe, this is Henry. I'm following up from our call. How do you want to bet? The video, so right now I just typed in fencing contractor Garland, Texas to show you what happens when somebody searches for fencing contractor in the area. So the first thing you see is the Google map portion, and it's usually the top three listings get the most traffic. There's this firehouse or no fire wheel roofing is advertising, as you can see. Then when we go when we go down this is the organic listings. This is like owning page on page one, which you want to get. All right, so let's see which one will we use. Okay, then right here, this is actually the advertising portion on page one. These are like people who pay to be on page one. It's like they're renting space, and you want to be owning it because this is what happens when you own page on page one. Ninety-one point five percent of that traffic goes to page one. 4.8 percent goes to page two page three is 1.1 percent and page four is pretty much nothing so if you're not on page one it's just gonna be very hard for people to find you now going back here let's go look at the competitors see what they're doing for their websites and how you can one up them okay so we're going to agm fences Okay, so what some things that they don't do that they should, they should have a clickable phone number at the top left hand corner and a contact form at the top right with right at both the contact form saying like get a free quote. You can easily implement that for your website. And then so here they have some words here, but one thing that Google looks for is to have authoritative content about like fencing whatever services you provide. You want to have between a thousand to 1500 words, and they don't have that, but you can up one up them on that. And then for the service pages, you want to have between 500 to 750 words of authoritative content. Right now, they have you can use some of these terms too on your website wood fencing, iron fencing, chain link fencing, vinyl fencing. You can add those. Let's take a look at one of these right now. And there's some words here. It's good to always have images too. And when you upload the images to your website, you want to make sure they have a keyword rich term in there because Google is actually going to read that. And then your and that image could show up in the image search results on Google too. Another important part too of uh, ranking to the top is having backlinks. Not all backlinks are created equal. So some backlinks, like Google's the judge of the popular kids at school. And you're the new kid coming with the new website. Google's like, who is this guy? Where are we gonna move him up in the popularity? If you gotta vote, if some, if you put your the web the link to your website on another website, it mentioned it's a backlink, but let's say fence um, fencing pros is the number one website on fencing across Google, the most popular one. You put your link on that website, and they give you some follow through. There, Google is going to notice that and be like, "Oh, we're going to uh, this this kid, new kid's not so bad. We're going to move him up the rankings." If Joe Schmo's fencing came out yesterday and you're a new kid too, and you put your link on their website, Google's going to be like, "Who who is Joe Schmo fencing? His link doesn't this doesn't have enough merit. We're going to keep you where you are." So, while well, I went into backlinks, let's go back into. Let's go in here. This is a tool I like to use called Ahrefs and see what AGM Fences does. Let's look at their profile and see what we can implement. Review for that matter. Right now, so they rank on 13 organic keywords. Let's check that out. And they have 36 backlinks. and. and to, uh, trick you can do actually see who your competitors are linking up to and you could also link up to those same sites too so whatever directories they're in and such you can do that let's just check the keywords oh, okay here we go so like fence garland fence garland texas this is searched 20 times a month garland fence companies searched 10 times a month 
or like yeah vinyl like these are all terms you can use sliding vinyl gate sliding fences you can use all these for your to have on your website and the next important piece too is called citations so that's important to write in the map portion citations are the, are the number of times your business name like address a phone number listed across the web so right now it looks like you got 16 and let's look at your competition so in garland texas so there's 13 15 and 21 in the top three so you're around there you always want to add more citations you want to make sure you have way more than the top three people and at the same time do all the on site then do all the things to optimize your website to make it rank in the organic section of google so i hope you enjoyed this video and these tips and i look forward to hearing from you thank you